Hi, my name is Jamal Ashraf, and I'm going to be working with you guys for our introductory course, uh, Computer Science 2, for this fall semester. I am just like some of you who missed face-to-face -face classrooms. Uh, we're going to make the best out of this. Uh, I'm going to go over some uh, introductory stuff, and we're going to have some more videos. I'm going to talk about some structures and how we're going to do stuff in this class. Uh, this is going to be a short video and it's going to follow up with the other videos and some other text, the way that you're going to be preparing how to do it. So I'm going to share my screen right now to go over some stuff with you guys. So uh, this is going to be our course, CS2. I'm going to go with the student view so you can see where I am or what you are going to be seeing. So our home page is going to have just a welcome thing uh, in there. I put a tentative schedule over there at what assignment, what test, what the schedule we're going to have. We're going to try our best to stick with the schedule. And I have uh, something called e-syllabus. I'm not using the syllabus in this uh, course. I'm using the e-syllabus. You can access e-syllabus over here, or you can access it uh, through this tab over here. So that's something that we're going to be talking about it uh, in another uh, session, another talk, so we're going to go over it. We might have some activities on that. One of the things uh, on here. So well, I might add some stuff to here uh, as we go along to inform you about this stuff. So if you're not familiar with Canvas, I'm just going to quickly tell you something, and then we go more about learning. I'm going to create a link for how to navigate Canvas, how to navigate our course, and those kind of things. I'm just going to tell you a few introductory things, and then we can talk more about it. So if you are not uh, familiar with this, we're going to have something called announcements. So I would like you to turn on your notification in your profile, and uh, that way you can have it on every time I make an announcement. You can see it. Uh, my announcement can range from uh, uh, you know what is coming up versus what uh, you know things going to happen. If, for some strange reason, I cannot get online or something that I might uh, uh, post something in there. Uh, so check the announcements for it. And then we have these uh, tabs over here. We're going to go through it later. I just want to bring your attention to this section that we call it as modules. Uh, so let me do this so I can annotate and I can get the drawing part so that way we can uh, see what's going on. So we have, uh, as I said, the e-syllabus is right here, but of course you can click on it through here. Uh, we can take a look at it uh, if you want. The stuff uh, again in there for the book requirement uh, and all those things is going to be there. Uh, and then uh, we have a section for the uh, modules in here, and then uh, we have uh, other stuff that we're going to go through it. So if I click on the getting started, this is where uh, uh, I guess it was not published, so I have to go out of the student view to be able to see it. Uh, let me clear this. So I'm going to talk about this stuff today for the introduction. Uh, I'm going to talk about a little briefly about the course structure. I'm going to talk about the a little bit of the syllabus. I already told you about it. Uh, defining the collaborative work and defining peer reviews and defining the grade breakdown. And my video is going to go underneath here with some additional uh, links that you can uh, use. So starting uh, with the course structure, this is a course, the introductory course. And the, for that, uh, there is no expectation that you know some programming background. This is the introductory course. The problem with this course is we get all kind of students in this class. We're getting a range of students with no background to some background and some experts. The problem with that is sometimes that people coming in with some background, a, it will intimidate the students who don't have no background. Again, the expectation for this class is you don't have no background in programming. 
And the advantage of that is when we have some student with some expertise, then they can help other students if they're willing to. I am not going to force anybody to do anything. If you want to help other students, that would be a wonderful thing to do. Uh, but we have to find a way for students coming in as introductory, don't get intimidated, and the students who are coming in as uh, with some background, they don't get bored over here. And of course, if you know everything and you're expert in the topic, we should move you up to another class. This is going to be a boring class for you. This is not going to be a class. So uh, we will work collaboratively in this class. We have a section of part of this class is the lab work. And uh, the collaboration is very, very important in our industry. Most of us, including myself, uh, are not very good with working with other people. Give me the problem, give me a corner, let me go do it. But if you want to go to places like Google uh, or Amazon for interview, First, they ask if you can lead a group. Two is, can you work in a group? And three is, let's see what you know. Because if you cannot work in a group, basically, you cannot get a good project done. So we're going to be applying that to our lab work. Uh, you're going to be working with one to two people. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to start assigning you randomly. So you need to start early, communicate with your partner or partners to figure out how you're going to communicate. And we're going to have some discussion about how we're going to communicate with each other in this class. And then you're going to be doing it at the beginning of the course. And then later on, I let you choose your own group. So I'm hoping that you guys, by randomly choosing you a partner for you for the lab, randomly finding a partner for you in activities that we're going to do, then you might be getting to know the classmates and then you can choose the people that you want to uh, work with. Uh, the peer reviews, we have a section in this uh, course that is uh, called the peer review. And the peer review is something that, that we added to this course. One is because there is no way I can grade and go through all your homework all the time. So you, you can give some feedback to your classmates. Uh, I've got a tell you that you don't have to be shy about it. Your feedback is not going to affect the other person's grade. Uh, so you can freely tell the other person. Second part is by looking at somebody else's code, you might learn something or find a way to think about it that it was not the way that you were thinking before. So uh, for those reasons, we're going to have peer review. Peer reviews generally has the same weight as one of the problems, and that is uh, what uh, we're going to be uh, talking about. And if you don't do your peer review or you don't put enough time in it, then uh, you're not going to get a credit for it. So you come and say everything is fine, something like that, you're not going to get a credit for it. I'll give you some examples to go over it together again with those things. And basically, you got to be honest, you look at things, you keep a constructive feedback. And then uh, if you guys don't come to an agreement, let me know. I can you know, talk about it. You can send the uh, comments to each other through your uh, peer review. I will go over that uh, in another section. So that's part of your work. And of course, defining the grade uh, breakdown. I want to bring this document here that I'm defining the uh, grade uh, breakdown. Of course, we can look at it in the, uh, in the assignment section, in the syllabus section. You're going to see this. So we have the five sections. We have activities that we are doing it in the class at the Zoom time that we have. We're going to, I don't want to lecture for two hours. So we're going to break it down to some uh, activities. And I'm learning, I'm taking some classes myself to learn about these things. And I'm uh, getting some uh, good ideas of the best way to get involved. And hopefully we can practice some of those things and we all can learn from it. So that's going to be your activity. Then we have the labs that I told you that you're going to be working with a partner or two. Uh, and then we have the homework. You're going to expect somewhere around four to five uh, problems per day. So thinking about you're going to do one problem per night and you have a couple of days in case you've got to do something or something that comes up. So that's the trend for this class. 
Of course, at the beginning, the problems are much simpler. As we're getting to the end of the course, problems are getting harder, but then you have more expertise to do those, and we can adjust those numbers. Then we have some tests in this class, every two, three chapters. We're going to have a test. Again, the tentative schedule that I was talking about uh, in our home, it would define all of these things. So this tentative schedule uh, is going to tell about all of these things. When is it coming? How is it coming? Uh, So well, let me clear this. Okay. Uh, and then those are tests. We're going to have four or five of them, uh, maybe a little less. We will have a final comprehensive exam for covering everything from the beginning to the end. We are planning to cover eight chapters in this uh, uh, course. And also the book is required. We're going to be doing a lot of reading and a lot of uh, problems from the book. So be sure you're going to get that book, uh, the online version. I have some links in it in the e-syllabus. We go over it in another one. But be sure you are going to have the book. We will use the book heavily in this course. And of course, we're going to have a final project. Last couple of weeks of the class, we're going to be working on a project, a comprehensive uh, project that's going to last you a couple of weeks to finish it, uh, depending on how heavy is it. Uh, and we're going to decide if it's going to be individual work or it's going to be a team work. So we decided when we get there, generally it's going to be individual work. We're going to review everything in the course, in the final project, and in the test that we're going to have. So that's what I have for today, and that's what I want to say. You can always uh, get hold of me through Canvas email. Uh, you can email me. Uh, I will get you a number over here that you can call. Not necessary, you can reach me uh, with that phone all the time. I am basically available every day, uh, but uh, you know, send me a text if you wanna get hold of me, send me an email through Canvas. I am very good about the responding to the emails. Uh, if it takes 24 hours and you don't hear from me, uh, get, you know, let me know, I will definitely get in there. So the first, Part is get hold of me through the email. If we need to meet person to person, we're going to be uh, figuring it out. I have some office hours, but outside of the office hours, I can be available. The weekends, uh, I am telling you that Sundays I'm not available. Saturdays, I can be available in certain hours. And the uh, rest of the days, I'm available 8 to 5. And again, if it's an emergency or you really need me in the evening, we can arrange it. So all of those things is happening in uh, conference Zoom. So uh, we can we do it through the uh, conference Zoom. Uh, we tape everything that is uh, happening in our lecture. It's going to come over there, and if it's going to be you know if you need to make any appointment, uh, you can do that. You can go in there and. Uh, select the time slot that you want to talk to me. The time slot in the conference room for my office hours are 15 minutes each. Try not to block too many 15 minutes. If you need more than 15 minutes, we figure out a time for you to do it. So those are all I want to tell you today. And I'm uh, really excited to get to this class. This is one of my favorite classes. We're going to have a lot of fun. Let's get it started and then uh, we talk more about this.